This is BNN. JV Brew News Now is made possible by the generous support of C Spire, St. Dominic's, Salamuki's Madison, Orange Theory Fitness Hattiesburg, Blue Sky Landscape and Maintenance, Bank Plus, and these fine sponsors. Today on the show, St. Anthony students play on St. Joe Middle School sports teams. The Bruin JV football team has found success this year. These stories and more are next. JV Bruin News Now for Tuesday, October 10th, 2023 begins right now. From the BNN headquarters on the campus of St. Joseph Catholic School in Madison, this is the JV edition of the award-winning student-produced weekly newscast, Bruin News Now. Hello, St. Joe. I'm Ellie Williams. And I'm Nathan Burkhalter. It's Tuesday and the start of the second academic quarter here at the Joe. That means first quarter report cards go out this week. This first nine weeks literally flew by. It sure did, but was a great first quarter. You and I and others in the first quarter middle school journalism class spent our time working on the first edition of the year, JV Brew News Now. We managed to put together this newscast even as we get used to life at a new school and being taught by seven different teachers in seven different classes. It was a challenge. If you think the change from elementary school to middle school has been a challenge, we have three sixth grade students from St. Anthony who are playing on the middle school sports team here at St. Joe. That is an interesting story and JVBNN's Ava Harris has more. Something unusual is happening in middle school athletics in St. Joe. It all starts with three girls from St. Anthony Catholic School. Josie Jones, Marie Beecham, and Lucy Bonbillion are more than just sixth grade students at St. Anthony Catholic School. These students also are athletes at St. Joe Catholic School. Jones and Bonbillion played on the St. Joe Middle School soccer team and Beecham played on the St. Joe Middle School softball team. Um, I've been playing softball since first grade. I like the sport because it's a team sport and you can work together and it's not just a you thing. It's a everybody on the team thing. The three girls say they have learned a lot about their sports by playing on the Bruin Middle School teams. It helps me like get a feel like how the players play and it helps me realize how the coaches coach and help me adapt to a new environment. St. Anthony principal Ann Calger said she is proud to see her students stretch themselves. Well of course we're always proud of our Eagles when they go out in the community and do things and it's especially exciting to us that they're able to participate at the middle school level and I guess even the high school level at St. Joe. We work hard on having a good partnership with um, our high school so it's exciting that our students can participate at that level. Even St. Joe principal Dr. Dina Kinsey loves the idea of having St. Anthony students play middle school sports. We're so excited to have St. Anthony students join us, the sixth graders, because St. Anthony Catholic School moved with the Diocese of Jackson into the MAIS Association. That allowed their sixth graders to come over here and join our school and our athletics in both soccer and softball in the non-contact sports so that they can start playing um, and become Bruins even while they're still future Bruins. These three girls are very skilled athletes. We hope to see them next year at St. Joe with us. I'm Ava Harris for JVBNN. Now back to Nathan and Ellie. Thanks, Ava. Earlier we mentioned how today is the start of the second academic quarter. That means report cards with students' grades for the first nine weeks are expected to be mailed to parents by the end of the week. Parents should keep their eye out for an email. Meanwhile, students who didn't do well the first nine weeks now have a fresh set of nine weeks to improve their grades and end the semester on a high note. Along with the new academic quarter comes a new set of classes for 8th and 7th graders. Students in those grades will take what's called a rotation class that includes such subjects as art, music, journalism, research skills, and health and life skills. Some of these classes give middle school students a taste of some of the electives they can take in high school. 
I think it's important for the seventh graders to experience rotation because that way you, you discover what your interests are and you get all the options that are here at St. Joe's. Mississippi Blood Services will hold a community-wide blood drive on the St. Joseph Catholic School campus on Wednesday outside the Bruin Gym. Students who want to give blood should check with the school's front office to make sure they meet all requirements. As we start the second academic quarter today, seventh graders and some transfer students now have been a part of St. Joe for more than nine weeks. Many new students spent the first quarter meeting new people and falling into a regular rhythm here at the, here at the Joe. For seventh graders, the transition to St. Joe in middle school require a little more getting used to, changing classrooms and being taught by a different teacher for every subject. I like St. Anthony, but St. Joe is a lot better because we have good lunches, good teachers. It's been challenging, but it's really fun. It's been a great transition. I mean, I like the way they challenge us to do better in all of the subjects, and the teachers are really great. Coming up next, Jet Moore and Caroline McCoy have the latest in Bruin sports, including a look back at the JV football season. And Camille Cole has a forecast for the rest of this week. Stick around. Sports and weather are next. Hey Bruins sports fans, I'm Jet Moore. And I'm Caroline McCoy. We have everything you need to know about St. Joe's sports. Why? Because, because this is the JV Bruin News Now Sports Report. Topping sports news this week is Bruin football. This Friday, the Bruins stay home for a big game against Presbyterian Christian School in Hattiesburg. The game follows a huge win on the road last week against the Natchez Cathedral Green Wave. The win last week marked the second straight win over the Green Wave. The Bruins defeated the Green Wave in 2022 by a score of 33 to 20. The Bruins now enter the PCS game with a 4-3 record. This is a huge game on our own home turf. After Friday, the Bruins have just two more regular season games. As the varsity team continues play this month, the JV team is nearing the end of its season. The JV team was supposed to play Puckett last week, but that game was canceled. The team plays this week at PCS. This year's team, under the guidance of Coach Dylan Hammock, has seen a lot of amount of improvement with the record of 3-2. and two. I spent some time talking with Coach Hammock and some of the players about this year's success. We're really uh, mature. A lot of our guys have been playing uh, JV football this is for three years now. Um, and so uh, really just you know proud of the growth that they've had since they were in the seventh grade and uh, now that they're in ninth grade, you know, we're playing a uh, competition that's of, uh, you know, of the same caliber and we're, we're proving that we can hang out with the, with the big dogs. Coach Hammock, who also coached the team last year, says giving 7th, 8th, and ninth grade athletes a chance to compete on a weekly basis on the JV team helps them develop skills that will make them valuable contributors when they join the varsity team possibly next year. This year has been a lot better. Uh, the, the previous two years we've uh, struggled with some of our competition, uh, but this year we've, we've started off on a really uh, hot streak. JV quarterback Trey Kennedy led the team the entire year, throwing and running for touchdowns, and being one of the several keys to the JV team's success this year. Kennedy plans to play varsity, but not as quarterback. Our past years we were like 0-7 or 2-7. and um, <laughs> Two and um, five, we were we weren't that good, but this year we're starting to make a difference. Um, last year we didn't have a lot of players; we had like twenty players. But this year we upgraded, and we just been working and just working on our skills. This team has a lot of heart. Its success this year speaks volumes about potential for the varsity team in the next few years. The JV team is an excellent place for the student athletes to prepare for the big time. The Bruin Cross Country team returns to Choctaw Trails this Saturday for another big meet. Then, they will head to the same location on Monday, October 23rd, for the MAIS State Championship. As the fall sports season comes to a close, several winter sports teams are gearing up for their seasons. The boys and girls varsity basketball teams plans to begin play late this month. The middle school teams, including the 7th and 8th grade boys teams, are expected to also play later this month. All basketball players have been practicing for several weeks. That's it for the JV Bruin is Now Sports Report. 
Remember to watch the Friday edition of Brew News Now for more on the St. Joe Athletics. I'm Kelly McCoy. And I'm Jet Moore. Thanks for watching. Go Bruins. And now to Camille Cole with the forecast for the rest of this week. I'm Camille Cole with your Bruin News Now weather forecast for the rest of this week. After the second half of the summer turned into an unrelenting heat wave, it looks like temperatures will begin to moderate this week. Rain, though, is another story. Chances for rain are minimal for the rest of the week. Nevertheless, for the rest of today, look for partly cloudy skies with highs near 80 and low tonight near 56. Definitely much better than the blistering 100 degree heat from just a few weeks ago. Wednesday, we'll see temperatures nudge up to about 82 for a high with a low of 56. And on Thursday, look for a high of about 83 and a low of about 58. Both days will see partly cloudy to mostly sunny skies. Rain, well, looks like we need to hope next week will bring an end to this long drought. That's it for the JV b and weather. Look for football game day forecasts on Friday edition of Bruin, Bruin News Now. I'm Camille Cole with your JV Bruin News Now forecast. Thanks, guys. And weather looks nice for the rest of the week. I'm always looking forward to a great night at the Brewing football games. That's it for this first edition of JV Brew News Now for the 2023 to 2024 school year. Thanks for watching. Look for the BNN midweek pause Wednesday and the next regular edition of BNN Friday. Both shows will be right here on the BNN YouTube channel. Until then, remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the BNN YouTube channel, where you will find an archive of student-produced programming. I'm Ellie Williams. And I'm Nathan Burkhalter. From all of us here at JV Bruin News Now, have a great rest of the week. So long, everybody.